ครับสวัสดีค่ะก็ตอนนี้ก็คุณยายนะคะคุณยายทิกตอกกับคุณยายจิมจิมนะคะก็นี้ก็ควาดเรียกชื่อว่าคุณยายยิ้มนะคะตัวข้างหลังนะคะลงมาอาบน้ำนะคะยายสยาบยังมาไม่ได้นะคะเพราะว่าเจ็บขาค่ะเพราะว่าขาที่เราไปดูก็คือมีฝีที่ฝ่าเท้าเยอะมากนะคะก็เลยคุณยายยังมาไม่ได้ตอนนี้หมอกําลังรักษาอยู่นะคะก็คาดว่าสักประมาณสองอาทิตย์ะคะ่ะถึงลงน้ําได้นะคะเพราะว่ามีบาดแผลที่ที่ขาค่อนข้างจะที่ที่ฝ่าเท้าค่อนข้างจะเยอะเลยค่ะเป็นเป็นตุ่มขึ้นนะคะเป็นโรคฝ่าเท้านะคะก็เลยไม่ได้มาตอนนี้คุณยายทั้งสองจะนอนพักอีกฝั่งหนึ่งนะคะของแม่น้ำนะคะจะเป็นโรงนอนเชนฟรีเชลเตอร์ค่ะตอนนี้คุณยายก็มา,าจะมาพาเดินมาเที่ยวนะคะามาอยู่กับควานใหม่ด้วยนะคะเพราะว่าควานควานนี้ก็เป็นควานหนึ่งคนตามมากับปางช้างเก่าที่เคยอยู่แล้วนอกนั้นก็เป็นควานที่เราฝึกที่นี่นะคะข้างหน้านี่คือยายติ๊กตอกนะคะข้างหลังก็เป็นชื่อยายยิ้มนะคะ uh, Good uh, Good evening to everyone This is will come to update about the three lady that we uh, rescue uh, two days ago This is in front is the ติ๊กตอกอ you can see that is uh, we the doctor start to treat her abscess around her body And, and now we bring her to come and have food. And the three elephant one is s a y a m She can't come because it's after uh, she arrived at our project. We start to uh, check her health condition. The foot her around of her feet, a lot of abscess, and some of them have uh, a lot of uh, pus. So. The vet absorb and start to treat her, and many uh, she have many skin problem. So this is Jim Jim, y a Jim. We call her y a Jim, smiling granny. She uh, also have a nerve problem, but she work okay. She walk. She quite weak, but she still uh, have to come to drink water. So we uh, walk them out today for you know introduce them the 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 place. So the s a y a m the tall one and skinny, she can't come, as she have a, a lot of problem with her her foot. So probably will be next two week or maybe four. We're not sure. It depend for her uh, condition and how fast she uh, she can heal from that. So this is just just uh, update to you, and I will let you uh, see them and and follow on when. Uh, y a y i m uh, come to across the river. We can observe her. This one she can walk. We have to take her by truck and to the park. So you will come and see her very close. She still uh, not sure. She follow her m a h o t because she afraid, she use the trunk to to level the river. So you can see that she touch the the river and then she follow her new m a h o t So, so this is uh, one of our, uh, one of uh, the one in three that we rescue. So, I will let you follow and see their behavior, and I won't, I I won't speak again. How if you, if you would like to go and ask question, you can also ask uh, to our page. We will answer you after that.
Okay. Okay. This is will be the trick that is Mahot will introduce them to the river because they want they want the elephant to be able to trust to go down to the river to drink and and to lay down and all to so to swim. So that's why Mahot have to get down and bring her and to let her learn about uh, level of water, how deep of the, the the river. So or else the elephant won't get down because they if they are alone they're not confident. But the the elephant that's so much confident is will be uh, be my. She jump to the river with no question. It, it does matter. She don't have to worry. Even a mud river, she would jump down and swimming. And also uh, one my. The people to walk. What is the first night is here to the water. Here, then, to the sand. You can see. Now, the road is because for the first few minutes, you don't take right, right it's right away. Now, you can see that the first night is very, very well. No, not our no, uh, light way. So I can answer that. Hi everyone, this is Jennifer. We had a question come in asking about how did they sleep on their first night. And on the first night they slept very well. And they all three laid down in the sand. And they have been eating well. 
pooping well, sleeping well in the sand. So the elephant that you're looking at right now, this is Jim Jim. And Jim Jim is the elephant that was on the truck with uh, Derek and transported to ENP. She's moving quite slowly and we all believe this is the first time she's ever been in the river. If anyone has any other questions that they would like to ask, please send any questions in the in the comments and we'll respond to as many questions as possible. And someone also asked the question about um, why is the rope still around uh, Jim Jim's neck. So that will come off very, very soon. Um, at the moment, they keep the rope on the neck uh, because she's so used to it and the Mahout is also building a relationship with her as you can see today. They're using the food to guide her through the park, guide her across the, across the river and then into the main park. What we have to understand is this is a very, very brand new experience for her. No chain, no hook, just guided through the park with the uh, with the Mahout using the food. So we have to be very, very patient. So someone also asked us about the, the quarantine period for the elephants. So normally um, they won't they will be in quarantine for around two weeks for our mahouts to observe um, their behavior, to understand the characteristics, what foods they like, how we can work with them with positive reinforcement rather than the life that they've experienced before with the hook, uh, letting them get used to being chain free as well. Um, it takes a lot of time. Yes, yeah, so the elephant that you're watching at the moment, um, the name is Jim Jim, and this elephant was rescued by uh, Jim Thompson, um, which is the Thai silk and clothing designer. And they donate the, uh, the funds for us to be able to rescue Jim Jim. And the two other elephants that we rescued one is named Siam, which was rescued by Siam Winery, uh, based in Hua Hin. And then the third elephant, who's not with us at the moment, due to the issues that Lek mentioned previously, uh, the vet is treating um, some issues with her feet. And she was rescued by TikTok and named TikTok. So hopefully in the next couple of days, once the treatment commences with our doctor, then we will be able to let her um, come into the river, start to have a walk around the park, explore, and start to feel comfortable in her, her new home. So all three elephants are in their 70s. Um, some of the papers don't give a exact clear age. Um, but looking at their body condition and talking with the owners, we estimate that all three are around 70 years old, 70 plus years old.
Yeah, so I see questions asking about the, the elephants finally being unchained. So you imagine the elephants are 70 plus years old, highly likely that prior to being used in the riding camp, they would also worked in the logging industry. And I know Lech mentioned on the previous uh, Eliflix that one of the elephants, uh, Sam, I think was 40 years in the, in the camp. And TikTok had been in the same riding camp for about 30 years. So we must understand it's a huge transition for them as well. Um, so we just have to be very, very patient and let them enjoy mud pits, wander around, play in the river, because it's all new experiences. And Rai, also someone had asked about how is Jim Jim's leg. And so Dr. Tom and the vet team have been looking at Jim Jim and all three of the grannies every day, as they do on every single elephant here at Elephant Nature Park. And they said that they do have some foot and nail issues, yes. which are related to being on concrete for so many years, actually decades as far as we know. And so with the help of the ENP vet team and a bit of time and the fact that they're sleeping now on their own sand beds and in shelters which are non-concreted yeah. they should have good improvements relatively think, soon yeah and what we'll also try to do is bring you an eliflix where we can speak with dr tom and he can give you a, a direct update about each of the elephants and their the veterinary treatment and the expectation for each of the treatment i know we looked at the skin as well jen the other day when we were walking with them some of them had some skin issues as well, so Dr. Tom started to treat those as well. That's correct. Um, Lex said that a lot of the skin issue was related to uh, them having had a saddle on for yes. so such a long period of time. Yes, Maria, and we certainly hope that they will be able to uh, join a herd. Um, although we did rescue these three elephants together, um, their life has been quite solitary, so they've been chained separately, so they've never had that chance to interact and actually uh, be an elephant and live as a herd. So we hope that they will be able to form a herd um, and hopefully become nannies in the future. Yeah, if there is any other questions, please feel free to ask and me and Jen will try to answer as many as possible. And I think you were asking, um, is the dog Monday? The dog that's um, in front of the elephant is actually Peanut, um, who's Lex's dog, lives with Lex. Uh, but comes to the park every day um, and hangs around with Monday and today. Uh, but I would probably say Peanut is the boss of all the dogs. Yes. Joanne, the, you asked the question about the, the, owner, the previous owners of these elephants. Um, yes, they still operate a, a riding camp um, in Chiang Mai. Um, so they do still have other elephants in their riding camp. Um, but we're very grateful that we were able to rescue these three older ladies and give them um, some respite in their twilight years and let them enjoy um, the life that's been denied to them for seven decades.
the the Mahouts, someone asked about uh, have the Mahouts from ENP taken over, and the Mahouts took over as soon as the elephants arrived on ENP property. So we needed to have the original Mahouts with the elephants because that's all they knew. Um, help us get the elephants into the park. Uh, when you know, I was at the riding camp when we initially took the elephants, and as we didn't know anything about the elephants or their behaviors or what could possibly happen, uh, the mahout stayed with them. And someone had previously asked on the other elephant, "Why is the mahout riding mm -hmm. on the back and the head of the elephant?" And uh, that was because that was the request of the previous owner. So this was complied with. And it also is a chance for us to change the mindset of the elephant because the elephant has only ever known a mahout on its head. And so once the mahout and the elephant left the previous owner's property, the ENP mahout was in front of the elephant providing it um, encouragement with food. So the mindset of the elephant changes from what is on top of its head to the food that has been being, being provided. And so that's where a mental switch is taking place from the head to the food and having that encouragement to follow the new mahout to ENP. Um, Actually, when we got to the uh, writing camp, one of the things that was noted by Derek was one thing that was noted by Derek was the chance that the elephant could run, and that was not something that we wanted. Therefore, that's why we complied with the previous owner's request, and we had to have that balance between the previous mahout and the EMP mahout. But the switch didn't take, take long for that mental switch, right? Yes, I mean, we saw that point. when we were walking. Yeah. And there was a lot of food encouragement, not only by the mahouts, but also by the volunteers that are here at ENP right now, chopping down banana trees and providing food for them. And as they were walking down the road, because we had a five-kilometer walk, and them being able to pull up grass and trees as they liked. Yeah, and someone's also asked about the, the life expectancy while they're at ENP. Obviously, we've had elephants in the park before that have been over 100 years old. Um, we will just provide everything possible that we can to ensure that however long they have left, it's that they have you know good quality of life with us. They have access to everything that they need, food, water, access to roam free, access to other elephants, hopefully they're able to join a herd. Um, so we will just do everything we can, no matter how long they've got with us. Um, but hopefully 10, 20 years, I hope. As long as it is. Exactly. As they'll have quality time yeah. here with us. Yeah, Kim, the, you asked about the, the rope on the neck. That will come off in the next couple of days. Um, and we'll bring you some updates on Eliflix as well to show you the progress of all three of the rescues. Um, we just have to be patient, allow our mahouts to get used to being around these elephants, learn about their behaviour, their characteristics, um, and get the elephants also used to the mahouts, receiving kindness, receiving food, you know, not being hit with a hook, not being stuck on a chain. Um, that's what they've had for seven decades. So it's, you know, it's a huge transition. It's a big difference for our mahouts to, to learn about the elephants, but also for the elephants to learn that actually when the mahouts come near, it's not going to be a negative experience. You're actually, you're going to get food. You know, you're going to get love, you're going to get care. And it's also positive reinforcement, which is verbal. So they've been yelled at and you know, struck with a, a, a bull hook, and now they have all kinds of encouragement as well as including verbal encouragement. Yes. Yeah.
But as we all know, the, the biggest encouragement for an elephant is always food. <laughs> no food, no friend. <laughs> If there's any last few questions, um, please feel free to ask any other questions. Lek will also give a short update as well. Okay, this is another step that we would like you to see that when uh, the elephant, this two elephant, even we, we rescue them from the same place, it doesn't mean they are friends because all the time they chain in a uh, separate shelter and they never be, they never be in, uh, out of chain and never been freedom so uh, we try to introduce them to be friends for the early time and when we feed them we have to uh, put them like this and Mahmoud will be in the middle you can see this is this is also the step if anyone would like if you have in the zoology or the place want to go and put elephant together uh, you cannot put them right away because one, the strong one maybe can knock the other one. So when they feed the food now, Mahu to be in the middle and beat the food back. So I can, you can see that TikTok try to go and push Yayim. Uh, she try to move sometime for the food. They can be, they can fight to each other. So that's why we have to, uh, Mahu have to stand in the, in, in the middle. So I also would like to show you the, the feet. This is, what is the feet problem? I want to go to focus very close. You can see this is how the condition of the feet of elephant is. You can see uh, the, the feet. This is to be this is to be the 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 foot condition, and you can see. Um, this is to be a lot of job, uh, including abs abscess or row. Uh, some of them, uh, like Asayam, the one who we can bring, she have a lot, a lot of uh, uh, abscess and pus. So we are treat her now. We, she, we can allow her to go to the river. Um, but you can see here is TikTok. What is her feet? It's a lot of thing to trim, especially the the skin that is the dead the dead tissue. We have to take a lot of time, or else we get. Uh, foot disease after that, so we just just want to show to you. And this is we will show you for four four feet, and some of the 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 nail are cracked also. We need to be need to clean and um, uh, make a a proper you know clean or or the or the nail. Many elephants are falling down and many elephants have uh, injury and sick. The nail and the, the feet are the most important to support uh, a couple of ton of their body weight. Uh, the first, the priority that is their nail and their feet. They must strong enough to to uh, support their body weight. So, so, so around foot condition. Uh, I think in open up, move move back. I think she getting. Uh, she want to make our awang le awang. And as well, that is, I would like to show you on the top that the abscess that from the uh, maybe have for both lump the abscess that is come from the saddle. Ma, this is the the kind of. 
In this side, uh, bigger. So yeah, Yim, she's so cute, and she have a beautiful hair, and her eyes so sweet, and her face smile all the time. She have a mini body, so so beautiful. She she have a a lot of nerve problem from the walk. Uh, she walks slow, and she are really not confident when she walk. So, and also she lost the balance of her age. So we hope that is when, when we have uh, treat her and give her enough nutrition, hope that we can bring her back. We can bring all of them back. Uh, just up there, as well, that I think right you tell that is they also sleep for the the night they stay here. This. They sleep very well, and we can see from the the sand that they are all of them sleep on the sand bed. Yeah, so just to answer your question, Sylvie, um, yes, you can sponsor um, the three elephants that were just rescued. So it'll be under Save Elephant Foundation. So saveelephant.org, and then if you click the drop down for sponsor an elephant. And then once you've done the sponsorship, you can send us the email with the name or all three names of the elephants that you want to sponsor. Sally, the elephant that you're asking about, um, you're seeing her on camera at the moment on the right hand side. So um, it's actually the elephant that came on the truck. Uh, is on the right hand side of the picture at the moment, which is Jim Jim or, or Yai Yai Yim. They changed the name to Yai Yim. Yes, Andy, that's correct. Saveelephant.org. And then if you just select from the drop down, sponsor an elephant, and you'll be able to um, make the payment via PayPal on the website. And then you just follow the instructions to send us an email with the name of the elephant you'd like to sponsor, whether that's for six months or a year. Okay, that's the update for today. Uh, we will bring you some more updates about all three of the rescues in the in the coming days. Uh, but thank you very much for watching Eliflix today, and we'll be back with another episode tomorrow. Thank you very much. <laughs>